Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Honestly, Mary, he has changed drastically. From good to bad, or what? From good to better. Do you know Mark really asks me to do anything? Like, he really disturbs me over doing anything anymore. <laughs> How is that possible for a confirmed Mr. Nagi Nagi? <laughs> My dear, it's like a miracle. All of a sudden, he just stopped disturbing me. He just let me do my thing, my way, and when it's convenient for me. Huh. Why are you hemming? Isn't that a good thing? Indeed, it isn't, my dear. Why do you say so? Someone who is constantly inconveniencing you at every given time and opportunity cannot just change without having a plan. Mary, you are beginning to scare me. Should I be worried? Not yet, but be watchful. I mean, I just can't believe that he just changed. No, that's not entirely possible. Come on, Mary. People change. Yeah, they do. But I'm sure, deep down in your gut, you know something isn't right. <sighs> Whatever. Mm, I have to go now, Mary. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you, there. <clears throat> My wife is back. Say hello. Good afternoon, ma. Welcome. Uh, Lucy, get me some biscuits. Oh, okay, sir. Honey. Welcome. Am I hallucinating or is this real? I mean, is she real? <laughs> Lucy, of course she's real. Very real in flesh. You're here. Yeah. Mm, thank you, yeah. She decorated it. Would that be Elsa? Yes. I uh, meet my wife, Clara. She's very nice and accommodating. Right, baby? You're accommodating, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, well, have some biscuits and juice. I know you must be very tired from a long traffic. Hmm? And Lucy's preparing something very delicious. Traditional. <laughs> I know you like it. Oh, great. Um, mm. I mean, I love the sound of that, mm -hmm. but let's talk. <laughs> She's nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Hey. Mom. What are you doing? Uh, I'm making fisherman soup. And I'm sure you're going to love it by the time I'm done because I put in a lot of things in it. Well, I like the aroma of the food. I know, right? But you shouldn't be here, should you? Uh, Ma, I know you might not completely agree with my cooking skills or my stay here, but but just wait until you test this soup. 
you will love it. And then maybe after that, you can decide if you want me to go or not. Like I said, I love the aroma of the food, but you shouldn't be here. And you may be leaving anytime soon. Just have that in your head. And hey, I eat wheat, not Gary. Okay, ma. How can you just bring a stranger into our home without informing me? This isn't right at all. Um, I'm very sorry. I thought it was a wise decision. How is it a wise decision? Have I not been trying my best to take care of you? Honey, and by so doing that, I've been overlabouring my beautiful wife. I decided to put an end to it by getting us a maid. So you want me to believe that you have nothing to do with her? Honey, you can go check her up. She's clean. I got her from a hospitality home in town. I have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with her. Babe, I trust you, but I... Shh, babe, relax. You must be tired from today's work, okay? So all you need to do is to freshen up. Dinner will soon be ready. Babe, it's not like you're going to cook again tonight. You just need to freshen up. Come down to the dining because dinner is served. Hmm? Let me help you. Go freshen up. Hmm? she am I supposed to serve myself where is she I'm here ma I hope you made my wheat yes ma it's in the plate good is in my house and you're asking me what's going on? Babe, for the fact that I know her, you should put your worries at rest. Hey, what are you trying to do? Eat. We always pray before we eat in this house. And we have to pray, especially tonight, that we're about to eat food made by a stranger. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we come before you tonight. We are praying and asking for your protection. Especially now that we are about to eat food that is made by a stranger I do not know or trust. Father, may we not eat to our death in Jesus' name. Father, may we not eat to our death in Jesus' name. Amen. I come against 
any sort of love portion that might be in this food i neutralize it in jesus name father instead of that love portion to work on my husband let it work on me instead in jesus name amen father may we not eat to our death in jesus name father as we eat let us eat health in abundance in jesus mighty name i pray i cover this food with the blood of jesus i cast and bind any sort of evil that might be fashioned against me or my husband father let that evil get destroyed in jesus name no weapon fashioned against us will prosper in jesus name no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. As we eat this food, we shall eat life and not death. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord of Jesus, cover this food and cover us. Blood of Jesus. Cover this food and cover us. Blood of Jesus. Cover this food and cover us. Amen and amen. We can eat now. My oh my, this food is delicious. Sorry. Uh, babe, before I forget, um, are you, I mean, were you gay? Oh, that didn't go down well. Sorry. The soup is really nice. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I said the soup is really nice. <laughs> She's really a, a, a good cook. I told you. Getting her was the best decision ever. I thought you said you were feeling sleepy. Why are you still awake? Only a mad woman finds sleep while in the midst of strangers. Strangers? Where are they? <laughs> Who are they? Mark, hmm? you don't expect me to find sleep while that stranger is still in my house. Oh, 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 oh. You mean Lucy? Ah. Not to worry, she's gone. Oh, really? Mm. Thank God. Mm, but she will be back tomorrow. Oh my God. Please don't tell me she has gone to get her bag. Bag? Oh, no, 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 no. Lucy won't be leaving with us. She'll be coming in the morning and leaving in the evening. Oh, great. But not entirely great. Mm. So, babe, why? Why do you want her gone? I thought you like her soup. Well, mm. the soup is nice, I must confess. Mm. And I hope she kept some for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, don't worry, I told her to keep two plates. Mm. One for you, one for me. Okay. Babe, please, enough of Lucy. Let's sleep. Mm. At least I can sleep now, knowing that a stranger is no longer in my house. Mm, but you have the stranger's soup in your belly. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, when she comes tomorrow, I'll tell her um, how you were commending her soup. Oh, this soup is delicious. Oh, I hope she gets some for tomorrow. <laughs> tell okay. her and die. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Don't tell her anything. I'll tell her. Don't tell her. I'll tell her. Don't tell her anything. I'll tell her. You want to die, right? I'll wake up. And I'll kill you again. I'll wake up again. I'll kill you again. I'll kill you over and over again. Let's Come see. Come let's see. Let's see, girl. Good night. I love you. I love you too. Good morning. 
Has it been long you came? Not quite long, ma. Ma, is there anything I can do for you? You know, maybe food or anything at all? I don't look handicapped to you, do I? Not at all, ma. I, I just... Shh. Speak to me less in this house because I do not trust you. And until I am sure of the extra thing you are doing in this house, try and avoid me. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Babe. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. See, I woke up. I was thinking about this delicious soup Lucy prepared we enjoyed last night. I just came down to have my own. Don't worry, I kept yours, so. Babe. Hmm? So you sneaked in here this morning just to lick soup? Hey, young lady. Can you say such a thing? This is my house. I'm the owner of this house. How can I be sneaking in my house? It's too early. So, is there any stipulated time for a little soup? Hmm, maybe, huh? Hmm. Babe, just leave this kitchen. Hmm? You should have asked me to get you this instead of you being here yourself. Leave, please. Babe, I didn't want to disturb you. It was too early. So, and. I couldn't resist the urge. It should be delicious. Leave, I beg. Just leave. Oh, let me finish. Mark! <clears throat> let me go get ready for work. Hey, hey, babe. Do you know what Lucy will prepare for? Me? I go. What's going on here? Hmm? Where? What? What is this girl's name again? What's this? Lucy! What? Lucy! Uh, Good morning, ma. Lucy, did you realize that you just served my husband with food high in calories this morning? No, um, honey, uh, it's not her fault. I'm the one that requested for a bao soup. A ba and soup for breakfast. I don't see anything wrong with that. This is so unlike you. I know they say change is constant. Baby, I know this is not what you want me to eat this morning, but honestly, this is what I want to eat. Please, come out of here. Honey, um, I thought you were going to have your traditional bread and tea before leaving. Hey. Babe, not even the keys. Um, I'm sorry. Sir, it's for me, sir. Sorry, sorry to disturb you. What is it? Sir, it just, it seems your wife doesn't like or appreciate my presence here. Yes. Um, well, Lucy, uh, my wife is, she's not quick in accepting strangers. Hmm? Just give her time, she she would definitely accept you. I'm very sure. Hmm? No problem, sir. Um, what would you like to have for lunch or dinner? Uh, well, I don't normally come back for lunch, but with your fantastic way of cooking, <laughs> I must come for lunch definitely. No problem, sir. Yes. So, what would you like to eat when you get back? Um. Do you know how to arrange a fang soup? Very well, sir. I trust you. That would uh, let me give you money so you go to the market. Okay. 
Uh, this would do. Thanks. Add pepper. Sure. I like her fish. <laughs> no problem, Make sir. Thick. <laughs> Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. I said it. I knew it. I knew he's definitely up to something. You needed to see the shock in my eyes when I got home and met her. You should have told your husband that you don't want her. And you think I didn't say that? He said that my job is too time demanding and so he had to get a maid. A mistress is what he should call her because there's definitely something going on between them. Right? My dear, you need to save your marriage, Joe. That lady or whoever she is shouldn't be in your house. You don't need her as a matter of fact. <sighs> Honestly, my job doesn't afford me enough time to cook properly for my husband. Sometimes I come home late and tired. And all, I, all I could make is noodles, which he hates so much. Honestly, my husband has lost touch of my food, which is why he's getting really addicted to the food the maid is making for him. Clara, I think you should ask your boss for permission today. So you will rush to the market and buy foodstuffs that you will use to cook for your husband before another woman takes him from you. You are right, but I'm equally scared of losing my job. Which is more important here, your job or your marriage? You know what? You are right. My husband usually comes back in the evening. Let me surprise him with a good meal. Prepared by me. Just take all the time, dear, and give him the best. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Hey. Honey, you're back. Welcome. Babe, what's going on? Why are you home so early? Um, honey, um, I gave Lucy money to prepare a farm soup for me. So I had to come, enjoy it, then rush back to the office. Right. You mean you came all the way from your office? To do what? Enjoy it also. You will like it though, it's very delicious. Lucy! Lucy! Welcome, Ma. Good afternoon. Lucy, Ma. Do you know that a human being shouldn't eat more than 1,500 calories per day? Do you know? Of course you don't. Because if you know, you wouldn't serve my husband ever in the morning and ever again this afternoon. And you call yourself a maid. Honey, honey, it's not her fault. I was the one that gave her money to prepare the soup. It's unhealthy for you! And she has to remove this thing right now. I say remove this thing. Okay. Wait, let me take let me take meat. so difficult and dramatic. Why? I am being dramatic. Huh? Do you know the risk I took just to take permission from my boss to rush to the market to buy plantain, unripe plantain with lots of vegetable and fish to make for you this afternoon? Only for me to come back and, and see that Babe, you know I don't like unripe plantains. I prefer ripe ones. Unripe plantains are healthier than the ripe ones because of too much calories. Babe, you keep mentioning calories, calories. Do I have to starve myself of what I want to eat because of your calories? You need to deprive yourself some certain food just to remain healthy. I am going to the kitchen right now to make you a well-garnished, unripe plantain porridge. I will be right back. Mm -hmm. 
ce mec qui fait un bidon de télévision. I, I thought you were serving juice. Juice? Hell no. Your body needs more water than that sugary drink filled with so much calories. Ha! Babe, do you know that water is... Babe, it's okay. Let me, let me drink water. Water is good. <sighs> I hope you are enjoying the food. That's good. Mm. I will buy what I am later in the day and prepare for you too. <laughs> what I am? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, babe. You don't need to be stuffing your belly with all this heavy, unhealthy food that your maid is serving and encouraging you to eat. Yam contains more than 500 calories in <coughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Take water. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, uh, let me just excuse you to eat. Yeah, it's not good to talk while eating. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious, but <laughs> To my food. Oh, <laughs> got eaten by me. <laughs> the belly. <laughs> Wait. You mean you finished this whole food? Now, now, now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's very delicious. I feel like eating more. But I have to go to work. <laughs> I've always known that you love to eat healthy. Yes. Don't worry. <laughs> Let me go and get you another no, plate. No, like you requested. It's, it's, <laughs> Yes, dear. Uh, I don't know. My my right foot hurts. Uh, I believe it's from too much driving today. Can you help me massage it? What? Uh, sure, sir. Uh, it will be my pleasure. Huh? Babe, her hands are so soft. You know, like she's a professional. I hope you know that I am still here. As in, I haven't left the living room. Of course, babe. I know you're not invincible. Then why am I not the one doing oh, this? God, honey, I asked you to do this a couple of minutes ago. And you said you are tired from the presentation you had at the office. That's why I called her to help. I said I will do it tomorrow. Why did you have to get a stranger to massage your legs? Babe, you do go to spa, right? We we'll have strangers there, yet you let them massage you. Why are you making a big deal out of this? Uh, besides, you said you're tired, so why don't you go to bed? I'll, I'll join you later. Remember, you also said you'll be leaving early tomorrow morning. Hmm? Hmm. Mm. 
Right. You will meet me in the bedroom. Um, sir, where else does it hurt? Just um, round the ankle. Oh, okay. Mm. Like this. Oh, you're so good with the bones. What are you still doing here? Oh, I was, I was retiring to the bed. Sir, Ma, uh, I'll be on my way now. I'll see you in the morning. All right, good night. Good night. Um, wait, Lucy. You say you stay around a minute, a care express said, right? That's right, sir. Wow, it's 10 p.m. I really wasted your time with this massage. <laughs> it's not a problem. Uh, so how often do you get buzzed by this time? Uh, not quite often, but I'll try. You try? No, no, no. I can't allow you to risk your life like that. Uh, it's not possible. Why don't you pass the night here? You know, you know tomorrow you sit at home, so it will be easy for you. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Um, I was actually wondering how we get here in the morning since there won't be any bus on the road. You see why you have to pass the night? Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. You can make yourself comfortable at the guest room. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. Good night. Babe, babe, it's the right thing to do. Hmm? You can't allow her go by this time of the night. Is my fault she's still here? Come on, let's, let's, let's be considerate. This is the right thing to do now. Let's be human beings. Don't I vote we should not come on, let's go to bed. Mm, see that. <laughs> I wanted to go and get, get water to drink. Um, I woke up and didn't see you with me. Oh, I went to use myself. Oh, okay. Um, I, let, let me just get the water and drink. You know what? Um, <clears throat> I have lost my appetite. I mean, my thirst. Yeah, whatever. Let's 
Let's just go back to sleep. Babe. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Very good. Let's let's sleep. <laughs> sleep last night just because my dear husband allowed a stranger to sleep in our house last night by a stranger you mean the maid exactly that lady is fast snatching my husband's attention from me and I have to do something about that like send her away um, I don't think sending her away is the answer even if it's not what would you have me do eh? I can't let her snatch my man away from me now Really? Okay, please. I am coming over to your house right now. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Please. Oh. Who is this? Babe. Yeah. This is Dixon. A fine young man in his 30s. Mm. He is from a do state. Ah. Mm. Mm. Dixon is our new houseboy and gets man. Oh. Really? Mm. Mm. Dixon, uh Meet my husband, Mark. Uh, sir, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh. Same here, Mr. Dick. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <sighs> Good night, baby. Good night, babe. Yes. You know, I brought a man into our house, right? Yeah, uh, Mr. Dick. It's Dixon, uh, not Dick. Pardon me, ma'am. You seem not to have a problem with that. How? Why should I? You said he's our new houseboy and gatesman. Uh, so since you believe we need him, who am I to object to your order? Hmm. Strange. What is he up to? You mean oh. you have no issue oh. with it at all? Oh, babe. Oh, God. I have to be in the office early tomorrow. Let's sleep, honey. Hmm? My angel. I love you. I love you too. I know.
Your name again? Dixon. Whatever. Don't you ever try this nonsense again. Are you okay? Calm down, Joe. Eh? You know I don't go around complimenting every woman I see. You should be happy that Dixon complimented you. You're a beautiful girl, that. Listen to me. Don't you ever, in your life, even in your dream, touch me again. Something brought you to this house, Abby. Face it. Face the work that brought you here and stay away from me. Sorry, ma. I won't say this again. Ah, uh, sorry, ma. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna try him again. But, uh, who you deceive all this big yasha? Prespo. Eh? <laughs> because if now waiting now they think. If now a guy you they save her for <laughs> oh, Ibo, now one chance where you enter. Or guy will not be interested. But you see, if you give correct Bini man Dixon this, hey my boss, if I handle you, if I handle you, eh? You will swear, see, Dixon. You are good. You are the best. Are you not just so stupid? Hmm? You just open your mouth, wah, and be talking nonsense. When you're done wagging your tongue, you take carry this your two left legs and get out of this kitchen the same way you came in. Nonsense. <laughs> you see, there is nothing you will not see. Just imagine that nonsense. Oh, Mr. Dick. I'm um, sir, it's Dixon. Oh, come on, you can't tell me what to call you in my own house. I'm um, sorry, sir. Um, so I came to ask if you wouldn't mind me washing your car. Oh, don't bother yourself about that. Um, but sir, I... See, in as much as I would have appreciated that, but I like washing my car myself. It's a means of exercising the body, if you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> exercising the way. Yeah. I get you, sir. I get you, well, sir. You know, you seem like a very nice guy. Why don't you go fetch yourself a glass and join me? I should fetch myself a glass and join you, sir. Of course. See, um, I do not sequester strangers or mean to them. Hmm? Or would you prefer we go out and have a drink? Drink here or drink out? Out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Don't worry, go prepare. Okay, sir. I'll hug him, sir. <laughs> um, Mr. Dick, um, are you on SM? SM? Um, sorry, sir. What is SM? Social media. Oh, <laughs> SM. Yes, sir. I'm on social media. Really? Yes, I'm on SM. Now you give me your hand so I can follow you. Okay. Sir, I should give you my hand. <laughs> What's that? 
Sai, sai, appreciate sir. I appreciate yeah. so much, sir. Thank you. Sai, you got chip knuckle. Come on. <laughs> Mr. D. <laughs> I swear to God, man. I didn't know your husband was a correct guy. This guy now correct G. This guy now guy, man. A matu saluba. Eh? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about? See, man, I wasn't expecting that this man was going to make my stay easy here. But this man. This man, this man is friendly and jovial. Dixon, you're not talking to me yet. Okay, ma, see, eh? sorry, ma. Eh, Oga took me out. He bought drinks and even he see you for me. Wait. You had drinks with my husband? Eh, that my way. <laughs> Dixon? Ma? Do not forget the reason you are here. Because I paid you heavily for this job. Be careful and stay focused till I get what I want. Yes, ma'am. I, I won't do it again. Good. Babe? Yes, love. You seem to be relating well with the houseboy. Oh, uh, Mr. Dick. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Really? Yeah, he's jovial and respectful. I like that a lot. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be worried or...? Babe, come on. Wait. You think I'm hiding something? Not in love. I'm just being accommodating. Isn't that what you want, baby? Oh. It is. It just sounds weird. Like everything seems weird recently. Babe. Nothing is weird. I just think you're tired from the stressful day you had at work. Don't worry, go to sleep. Tomorrow everything will be fine. Trust me. Okay. Well, tonight is your turn to cuddle me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know you should cuddle. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, what's up, Mr. D? Oh, uh, boss one, I'm fine, sir. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Correct guy, I did good, sir. My man. <laughs> uh, you know you're new here, and the fuel in the generator is already low, so you have to go get some fuel. Okay, sir, no problem, sir. <laughs> My guy. Correct, my son. <laughs> Here. Yes. All right, now, you can take this one, take arranged beer. 
Ah, hey, hey, thank you, man. Thank you, boss. Dig I think sir, but you fisty come here, anything, sir. You can drive? Ah, boss, I feel drive ship. I feel drive truck, and nothing where I never feel drive. Very guy. That means you have to go with my car. Ah, no problem. So you have to be back early. I'm going somewhere. Hmm? The gallon is in the gen house. Okay, Let me get the keys. No problem, sir. <laughs> Correct, man, sir. Dig <laughs> hey, boss, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> My dear, thank you very much for the wonderful idea of getting a house boy. <laughs> and how is your husband taking it? Surprisingly, he's cool with it. What? Mm -hmm. He didn't object? Not even a hiss from him. Honestly. Do you know that he actually relates with this house boy more than me that employed him? Strange. <laughs> well, I do not have any reason to complain. Should I? Hello, Inspector. I want to report of a stolen vehicle. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm very sorry. Here is your phone. Hey, my police is wicked. Ah, police is wicked, ma. Ah, my beg these people. I beg this man. I beg this man. I was begging this stupid one in front of me. My what I had was insane. Ah, ah. Hey, hey, I'm so hey. sorry. Okay, you will be fine. All right. Ah. Oh my God, Mr. Dick. Ah. Hey, what happened? He was accused of car theft. Ah. Before I could get there, the police already dealt with him. Hey. The police? Yeah. Oh, he should have called. Ah, sir, I don't have your number now. It, eh? It's true. I don't have your number. Oh, sir. Hey. Police is wicked. Yeah. I apologized. I begged. And I did everything. I told them this guy is not my own. He's my own guy's guy. I can't even act. Ah, you know I can't buy that kind of car. Obviously, you can't. Ah, hey, 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 this is this is wickedness now. This is such a senseless act. When you see why I hate the police, if it's to go to Sambisa Forest and face the Haram guys, they won't. But they know how to pick on innocent civilians. Innocent. I, I see beating. Is it pain? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I'm God. Penny, stop. Yeah. Stop. Can we take him to the hospital? Hospital. Uh, uh, honey, this is not. The injury is not much on his face. Like what I was expecting. No, I mean, you know, police. When police beat you, now, this is not normal police beating. Just take some pain relief. You'll be fine. No, no? Sir, no, no, no. Any other people? Ah, yeah. hey, all his body. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Oh God! I'm sorry. You cannot solve this one, sir. It's not a sorry matter. I need malt and cold milk. Mr. Dick, you deserve it. Thank you, sir. This is not normal beating. <laughs> Hey! 
How did this happen? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I was just taking my shower. Sorry, sorry. I was taking my shower. I just came out and I slipped, yeah. slipped, slipped and fell. Hey, my head is going oh, sad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I'm so sorry about that, okay? Do you think someone pushed you or what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what has been happening since I came to your house. I don't know. I don't know. I die. This is so sad and very unfortunate. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, yay, 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 sorry, yay, sorry. Yay, 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 yay. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, hey. They want to kill me. My enemies, oh. Fine, alright. My enemies, oh, enemies, 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 enemies. Babe, it yeah. seems like your houseboy is constantly getting into troubles, like a cost person. I think Lucy is behind this. Lucy? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. She never wanted Dixon in this house. And she's been so unfriendly to him, according to Dixon. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's possible that she's doing everything possible to frustrate him out of this house. Mm -hmm. I don't quite agree with you. I wasn't expecting you to agree because you employed her. Mm. I'm just not happy with everything Dixon is going through in this house. Um, I quite to understand and sympathize with him. But don't you think it would have been better if he has changed his name from Mr. Dick to something more decent? It would have helped. Don't you think so? <laughs> Babe, did I say anything wrong? <clears throat> Mr. Dick. Get my eyes on you. Thanks, but my husband tells me that all the time. What? <laughs> Nothing. No. I, I was only admiring the, the work of God in you. He made you in his image and likeness. <sighs> You're beautiful. Ha! You're so pretty. Dixon, <laughs> this one you are praising me today, am I safe? Ah, sure, ma. You're perfectly safe. But, um, does your husband know how 
breathtaking and sexy you are. Hey, ma, you are sexy. I have to go now, Dixon. Just hey. take a moment and rest your head. You'll be fine, okay? Um, ma, I, I will be fine, but I'll be thinking of you always. Eh? <sighs> Take a break, babe. Honey, I'm almost done. Um, is the food ready? Yeah. Let me just take a shower. Okay. Let me finish up. Cook finish. Yeah? You know what I can cook the food. You know where I can cook the food. If I talk, you must talk. I know say they know they train, they know they train people like you. No, insult me. Oh. Insult me. I bet wash plates. They lick back of pot, they lick the side when I can actually enjoy the sweet, delicious, and luscious food inside the pot. See, babe, I don't want you again. You didn't so. I don't want you again. What did they worry you? She not meant to have been a malaria. Mm. You know, don't answer that. It never makes sense. Yeah, it's okay. it's never... Oh, ah! oh, God. May you bother your heart. Wait, wait. I bet you be cook give me madam food. What are you two? Um, how are you feeling now, Mr. Dick? <laughs> Sorry, sir. No, no, you can laugh. <laughs> you can laugh. It's, chopping it is not good for your health. You can laugh. Um, sir, I'm much better now, sir. The head don't clear sharp. You are done now, right? Yes, you can leave. Okay. Um, that includes you, Mr. Dick. Okay, so let me pour this one. Hey. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. You know you can actually be nice enough to address him by his name instead of calling him Mr. Dick. Babe, let's eat. You can finish up. Um, honey, you look exceptionally beautiful. Go away, John. So you go with <laughs> Mr. Dick. <laughs> you know, I haven't really heard Oga call you by your name before. Mr. Dick, Mr. Dick. And as Mr. Dick, Mr. Dick, you know, sweet, 
see Dick na sexy me. I be no like Dick. I beg! Shift! I can see road. Mr. Dickhead. Uh, 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 see, yellow popo. The one one no go take from you like this, nice sort of. You see, if you try her, you see this beneath hand. If I give her to you for this I yellow popo. Carry that thing, come from my front. Try her. What you go do? No, tell me. What thing you feed do? Only you. You don't break head. You don't break hand. From one problem to another. Only because you came to this house. Very soon. Just very soon. Now, this is your forehead. They will break and stitch out for you like, like major oppression. See this house, Medo? Kashi, can you know the face? They touch me for face. Mm -mm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How soon will be you? They do me all this Kashi, when they do me for this house. <laughs> Auntie say with a drag waiting. Waiting with a drag. With a drag land, I've been a woman. Housemaid. Houseboy. Hey, hey, hey. Yellow papa. 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 She was thinking this girl because the wala where they get from this house. Dixon. Dixon. Hi. How are you? And how is your head today? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> oh. What? Are you okay? Are you mad? Is something wrong with your head? I, I don't understand. Why don't you say you wanted me as well? How? When? Where, where did I tell you that? But you, you sent me a text. What text? Something is wrong with you. Listen, you have crossed the line and I will punish you for this. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Ma. I, I, I'm sorry. I... I, I didn't mean to do that. But Ma, I, I have a confession to make. See Ma, I, I really like you. In fact, I, I love you Ma. Okay, that is it. I am going to report you to my husband to help me send you out of this house this moment. Ah, lao, 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 lao. I, I will never touch you again. I will never hold you again. If I touch you again, do anything you want to me. I will not want you again. Hey! I don't understand now. But I... I've got the text! Ready. Okay, don't worry, you can keep it. I'm, I'm already late. Uh, well, you can just take a sip and some bread. No, you can have it. Let me pass.
So I cannot drink this tea. Because I say I go drink camel. my job. This is how I would have lost my job. Oh. Hey! God, I thank you. Thank you that Toga did not drink this tea. Who would I have said? Hey! <sighs> mm. Mm. This time I will be careful. How did salt enter my tea? First time she's making such mistake. It's just it's a mistake. Let's just let this slide. What? Honey, it's just a shirt. Huh? It's just a shirt. She has never done something like this before. And dear, you have to be more careful next time. Absolutely, sir. It will never happen again. I promise. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, like a bad person before that girl and I don't like it. Honey, it's not like you've been a nice person to her. Have you? Yes, and if you're just noticing that you've not been nice to her, you've really lost touch with reality. Mark, I am your wife, but you no longer regard me as one. How? Okay, give me an instance. When last did you eat the food I made? Oh, that's... But... Babe, you know, Lucy is a better cook than you. And it's not gonna hurt if you ask her to teach you one or two things, you know? Oh, oh wow! So suddenly she has become a better cook than I am? Really? Honey, you know I'm saying the truth. We just can't bring yourself down to believe that, isn't it? Babe, where are you going? I thought we were having sex. Sorry. There is no sex from a woman who doesn't know how to cook. Babe. 
Really? Good girl. <laughs> ah, the girl. That's my girl. Hmm. <laughs> That's how she writes. Bravery. <laughs> Mr. Dixon. It's about time I dig into your past. Let me know who you are. What are you preparing? Uh, I'm, I'm making white yam and egg sauce. Oh my god. Lucy! What did you feed my husband this morning? Okay, uh, I gave him rice and banga stew. Banga? Banga that has all the oil in this world. As if that's not enough. In the afternoon, you fed him eba and egusi oil. And now this night, you are planning to feed him yam and egg sauce oil. Lucy, do you know you're very wicked? Excuse me? Yes! Because if I should get a calculator and calculate how much calories you fed my husband for the day, it is above 1,500 calories that is recommended for a day. What is wrong with you? You want to send my husband to an early grave, right? No, ma. Can't you see that his tummy is already coming out? Eh? Is that a sign of good living? Is it? No, ma. I I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. But, ma, Oga requested for this yam and egg sauce. And so what? So what? Can't you advise the person that is paying you on how to live right? Can't you? Listen, better don't feed my husband this thing you're cooking. Look for food that is low in calories, or better still, go out there and get him fruits. And when you're getting the fruits, get fruits that are low in calories, like watermelon or vegetables like cucumber and garden egg. And convince him to eat it. Because I know you can. Nonsense. Oh, which can wanna build this ones now, eh? How do I serve Oga Gadi egg and cucumber for dinner? She a village meeting income. These people just want to confuse me. This woman wants to confuse me. What do I tell Logan now? now? <laughs> Sir. Yes, dear. Sir. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for all the mistakes that I've been making in this house. I, I don't know what's happening. I, I, I just don't get it, but I promise you, sir, I am innocent. I, I, you, you know, you know I will not do anything to jeopardize my work here. Sir, please. I know. You, like, you know that I'm innocent or... or... Lucy. <sighs> See. I know that you're innocent of everything you've been accused of. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're the kindest man I've ever met. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's okay. Um, but, sir, how, how did you know that I'm innocent? Well, let's just call it a hunch. But my advice to you is 
keep being the good girl that you are. Don't change for any reason. Yes, sir. Don't worry, go back to what you're doing. Thank you so much, sir. It's Thank okay. you. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. <laughs> Early today. Yeah, I had no much doing at the office, so I left early. Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. You have to go put on something hot. We're going out for lunch. <laughs> lunch? Yeah. But there's food in the house. So? Like, baby, it's been like ages we went out. <laughs> so, I want to give my lady. The treats. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'll just go and change into something hot. Mm. Hot like, for you. Likewise. <laughs> of this pregnancy alone? What? Dixon! Gosh. She's pregnant for you! Dixon! It's 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 Ah! Ah! You deceived me! You deceived me! I wouldn't go and I get pregnant! Dixon, what is going on? Dixon, tell me she's lying. Talk to me! Okay. Oh. 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 What is going on here? Oh, Who is your madam? But you told me you're a banker. A banker! Dixon! You told me you're an architect. <laughs> boots. And uh, she, she's my client. Who is the client? <laughs> Wait. Can someone please tell me what exactly is going on here? You're pregnant with me! What is going on What? Dixon. Is this a joke or a prank? Is this a joke or a prank? Um, ma, it, it's, 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 How dare you! You are leaving my house this moment! Ah, my face. Dixon. AKA Mr. Dick. So, you see, uh, I actually know that you are more than who you say you are. <laughs> well, the wine I sent you to buy is for your guests. Hey, 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 Bossman. Yes. Hey, Chemu. Chemu, you? Yes, I did. Entertain them. That's not your problem. Mr. Dick! She wants to save you. 
that he is gone. What must I do for you to send Lucy away from our home? I do not want a housemaid or a houseboy. Babe, what you're asking of is, is difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. You can do it. Let everybody just get out of our lives. I just need you and me. Babe, when was the last time I touched you? A few days ago, but you know that's not what I'm talking about. A few days ago is a long time for me not to have touched you. You deserve to be touched every minute of the day. Come here. <laughs> 